Hello everyone, um, I'm sorry for it being nine months since my last uh, tutorial on Roblox. It was mainly just because I got exhausted from making videos, or I had no video ideas. It was probably the second one. But anyways, I'm just here to do a simple tutorial uh, that I haven't really seen anyone else do. So uh, we're just going to do a tutorial on the camera shaker module for Roblox. Uh, let me just pull it up real quick. So, uh, a mini tutorial on this camera shaker. So, um, uh, I've seen a lot of people, I've had a few friends, uh, they've had to ask me how to use this when it's actually really simple. So, I've just decided I'm going to make a video just in case, you know, there's any, like, anyone new to scripting out there that don't really know how, uh, things like this work. This is actually a really, uh, well put together module made by this dude. Uh, I think it was ported from Unity, but, uh, I did not make this, it's completely made by this dude. Uh, all credits go to him. This is just a tutorial on how to use it. Uh, just, uh, yeah, how to use it. It's a really simple one, and yeah. So uh, let's go ahead and go back to studio. So to set it up, it's actually pretty simple. So uh, on the dev form page, I'll leave it in the description. There should be a link to the model. Just go into your models and just search for camera shaker. Or it should appear in like the, the top part of it, but you know, just, just go ahead and get it. So you'll have this module. Uh, what you want to usually do is move modules into replicated storage. Uh, just so it's a uh, it's more cleaner for your workspace and that both client and server can see the module. But anyways, we're just gonna do a simple tutorial uh, for the camera shaker. Basically, all you really need to do from this is just you can learn off this tutorial and learn how to incorporate it into your like you know guns or like uh, explosions. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be using the uh, presets uh, right here included in the actual module itself because these are really easy to use um, and they're just there. Uh, you can make your own using C-frame coordinates uh, but that's kind of hard. I mean you'll be you should be able to figure it out. I'll probably like leave a way to uh, figure that out. But anyways we're just, for demonstration for demonstration I cannot say that word just to demonstrate uh, we're just going to use this part and every time this part is touched we are going to uh, shake the camera. So all we really need to do is create a local script. Uh, it's going to be handled by the client. That's how Camera Shaker is, so we're just going to do that. So what we want to do is, uh, I like to do wait, but uh, for me, I'm going to define the part, uh, which is going to be the part workspace. Um, after that, uh, we need to define camera. So the camera is the camera of the player. Basically, and to do that, all you do is just do define it by doing a variable and workspace.currentCamera. So after you've done that, we now want to require the module so that we can actually use uh, everything within it. So what you want to do is just uh, reference it in a variable and require it um, wherever you put it. So it's in replicated storage, so we're going to do game.replicatedStorage.CameraShaker. Not child added, camera shaker. Alright, and you've done that. I have no idea why it's doing that. It used, there's something up with Roblox this path, these path months. Just doing that. Alright, whatever. Uh, now we're going to need to do the cam shake function that you're going to be using to actually execute the, the camera shaking. Uh, so we're just gonna name it cam shake. And uh, just letting you know, uh, most of the stuff I'm doing today that involves this, I'm usually taking it from the documentation. I'm just putting it into a video format so that's easier to understand for people that don't like reading, which is definitely me. Uh, I had to read it though. So we're just going to do camera shaker new and we're just going to create it here. So we're going to do enum.renderpriority.camera.value. Now make sure it's the capital C camera, not this variable camera. These are two different things. Don't want to get that confused. This is within the module, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure, don't take my word for that. And then we're gonna do a function and create a something. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like passing through something through this fun uh, function. Uh, could be wrong. I haven't used Lua in a while. I've been using JavaScript. Uh, then we're gonna do camera. This is your, your, your uh, current camera variable that you made. Uh, we're gonna get it C-frame and we're going to multiply it. So usually people would just you know do this where they, they do it and then they multiply here. No, you don't want to do that. So you can actually use this in your uh, game or take this for what you will, I don't know. Uh, basically when you're gonna multiply something you want to equal it and then you want to do the thing again 
Sergey is a C-frame. And then you want to actually multiply it. And we're going to be, in this case, we're going to be multiplying it by the shake C-frame right here. So basically, for anyone that didn't know, this is just a nice little fact. Uh, when you're doing something like multiplying a value within a Roblox game, uh, what you want to do is actually define it again, because what it's going to do is it's going to equal this to whatever it is. So if you just do this times that, it's not going to work. I don't know why it does that, but I'm probably ter explaining this really terribly, but basically you're going to get this, so it's going to equal the exact same value times whatever this is, basically. Uh, I probably t explained that terribly, um, just letting you know I, I suck at explaining things, but whatever, We're just hopefully you can live with it. But now, uh, this is just the, the touch part. So we're just gonna make a function, touch part. And we're just going to do that. Uh, and we're going to create a variable so that doesn't happen a lot. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to do, uh, let's say, uh, if not touched, then touch What we want to do here is actually our cam shake. So right after you call this, I'm not sure if this is actually how you use it, but I'm pretty sure this is how you use it. I mean, you can uh, do it here if you want, but basically what we're going to do is cam shake colon start. We're basically starting the module uh, so that we can actually do our camera shaking. Uh, I've seen scripts like uh, the explosion on shake that the the inbu the inbu I don't know how to say his name. He made the FE Gunka edited version. Uh, he made, he did camshake.start and then the actual thing. Uh, I kind of like to do this instead, but it's probably better to do his way. I don't know, just choose what you want. So we're going to start it. Uh, you can either put it here or there. And then right after we start it, we're going to do camshake, colon shake. And since we're using a preset, uh, all you need to do to get the preset is cam, is do camera shaker dot presets. I love how Roblox doesn't do the autocorrect thing anymore. So you need to type this carefully. Make sure you type that correctly uh, so that you don't complain in the comments. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, now uh, we're just going to execute the function when we touch the parts of uh, this part. Kind of. Part got touched, connect, and touch the part. Okay. So now we're technically done, so in theory, if I didn't screw up, if I were to go into game and touch the part, we should get the explosion preset camera shake. Alright, awesome. We're already at it, we're already, we already got an error. How did that even happen? Uh, I'm gonna fix it. So, uh, my bad. I accidentally misspelled camera somehow. Yeah. I'm really smart. Make sure you don't make the same mistake I do. I, I did it A. C-A-M-A-R-A. -A -A. I have no idea how that happened, but whatever. Now, now that that's fixed, we can actually test it. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, okay. So now, if we touch this, we get the explosion thing. And yeah, that's technically it. That's basically how you do camera shaker. Uh, it was, it's really simple. Uh, hopefully this helps anyone that was like struggling on it. Uh, you can get a list of the presets right here. Uh, right here, bump, explosion, earthquake. Uh, let's just do earthquake to show you that this also works. You just put that there and you can go ahead and test it. And there we go. And if we touch it, we're gonna get earthquake. Uh, it's very minimal. So that's an earthquake. Yeah, as you see, this is like one of the smoothest camera shakes out there. Uh, it's way better than doing a moving the camera by C-frame, which looks really rough. Uh, and it looks stupid. Uh, and to finish this off, I think I have enough time to do this before I get bored. Uh, I'm looking at the source right now. Uh, it says that we can do a shake once. Uh, and we just put a bunch of values, so um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do 3, 12, that, 8, 8, and 1.3. Uh, shake once, I'm assuming it's gonna shake once in the directions we put it at. I probably put it at the worst possible numbers ever. But hopefully it, hopefully it doesn't work that good. Oh wow, that's actually good. Oh, no. Why is it getting worse? 
Oh, it's up. Okay. So yeah, I guess that's take ones. But yeah, uh, in the module itself, you basically already know how to do everything. That's how you set it up. This is how you execute it. That's basically it. You can look at the GitHub. They also have an example video. You can look at the source, the, the code there. But uh, there's, there's an example right here that you can look at. You see it has custom shake, sustain shake. It's basically really user friendly. Uh, this is just how to use it. So uh, that's basically it for today's tutorial. Um, thank you for watching and staying all the way to the end. And thank you to any of my viewers who have waited nine months for another video like this. Uh, I'll be trying to upload a lot more uh, as this has been pretty fun as lately I've been pretty bored with doing everything school related or anything like that. So this is just a nice thing to do today. Yeah. So yeah. Make sure you like, subscribe, maybe comment, and I'll do more. Okay? I just need to figure out what I need to do next. And I'm stretching the video too long. I'm so sorry. This was a camera shaker tutorial and it has gone on for 11 minutes. Oh my gosh, this shouldn't take this shouldn't have taken this long. But anyways, uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Later.